Welcome back to another edition of Saving Money Through Saving Energy. It's Mike Finley from Paramount Builders back again. Uh, let's pick right up where we left off last time. Here's our quarter of an inch thick styrofoam underlayment or insulation system. Remember our R value on this was one at maximum. So it would not pass the tax credit legislation and it will not save you the kind of money that you're looking to save. Let's go on to a more sophisticated version of what we just saw there. It is meant to be form fitting or shaped to fit the siding panel that it's going behind. You can see that this is a thicker version of what we just saw there, albeit a different color. It is still styrofoam. It is up to a half an inch to an inch thick. And we said we increase our R value. The higher the R value, the more energy savings you receive. Up to an R value of three. And whether it's shaped this way or this way, it's supposed to contour somewhat to the siding panel that it's going underneath. And in fact, it does increase your R value up to a maximum of three. Would that pass or fail our tax legislation that we just came through? I'm afraid it would fail and your energy savings that you would receive would still be a fraction of what you're looking to do if you're looking to save the maximum amount of energy and money that you can save long term. There are other issues with these types of underlayment systems that we'll get into as well. We're just focused on saving money through saving energy right now and I think we can agree this will not pass the test. If there was something superior out there that gave you the maximum energy savings you could receive and contoured to the siding system and was affordable, that would probably be a better direction to go. That's what we'll take a look at in our next segment. Thanks for coming back. Appreciate it. 70% of your heating and cooling efficiency right at the side walls of your home, 25% of which is lost right through the studs to the walls of your home. So when you add insulation like this, you're trying to preserve your home's energy envelope and this lets you down in the fact that the R value is one or less, maximum of three. It creates other issues as well, it is not saving you money on your heating and cooling bills and wear and tear on your heating and cooling units. This is styrofoam and styrofoam does a great job of preventing air and moisture from penetrating your house from the outside in. Yet another reason for adding insulation. The problem with this is, is it traps moisture inside the walls of your home. Your house tries to breathe, you emit vapor, four to six gallons a day the average family emits washing machine, dishwasher, etc. So when you trap moisture inside the walls of your home through the insulation that you've installed, you promote and create mold and mildew growth that's trapped within the walls of your home. You've heard of sick home syndrome. This is exactly the main culprit behind it, trapping that moisture inside the walls of your home. So not only does it not solve the energy efficiency and saving money issue, but it also creates health hazards and it also costs you money long-term. Health and wear and tear in your heating and cooling units.